I think the thing with trust accounts is they don't necessarily say on the statement, at least not where it's super clear, that's what it is. So it's just an opportunity for a realtor to do more due diligence when you're getting approved funds. So I, I had a buyer come in and he wants to see all these different properties. He shows me his proof of funds, He's got plenty of money in there to do all the things we talked about doing, showing him properties all over town, finds one he wants to put a contract in on, but we didn't get very far in that contract process because I started getting suspicious that he had the authority to you know, dictate what happens with his funds. So then I, at that point, I put up a roadblock of I need to talk to the funds manager, whatever, and that never happens. But in the meantime, this guy is texting me pictures of this RV that he wants to give me and all these crazy stories about his rich guy exploits and all this stuff, which I obviously believe none of that, none of that is true. But it's just crazy to think the amount of time that some people have on their hands and the amount of time that would have been wasted if I hadn't already had some suspicion. Because again, the proof of funds looked legit. So sometimes you just have to do a little bit more due diligence. And I did waste some time with this guy, but it could have been a lot worse.